Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to customize the Oxygen's UI. And I want to quickly mention that this video wouldn't have been possible without a very useful snippet that was provided by Bruce Young. So if you go to his channel, Bruce Young, uh, you're going to see customize the uh, Oxygen layout using CSS. Now he did his own version of his Oxygen's interface and you can see if you go down to the comment section, he posted a snippet and in this snippet gives you the ability to add CSS that can override the Oxygen's interface. I'm going to share that snippet with you today in this video and then I'm going to show you how I customize mine and then I will give you my own version of customization. I'm going to share the snippet of my customization. I have two versions that I'm going to share with you in this video. So let's take a look at the customization. I'm going to walk you through the things that I've done and I'm going to show you the CSS. I'm not going to go in line by line, but I'm just going to give you an idea of how I group the CSS. So you will have an idea of what I did so you can go in and edit it to your heart's content. Um, so this is the default Oxygen's UI. It's uh, from 4.0. I think it was a great improvement from the previous uh, versions and this is okay. This is functional and some people argue it is functional. So why change it? Well, design is not only about function. Design is also about form. There's just something about uh, a UI that can affect the way you think, can affect the way you walk, you know, the mood that you have. So uh, that is why I think design is very very important also and not just the function and i'm not by any way saying that what i'm doing or the the tweak that i'm going to do to this interface is is, is the best or is much is better than what the original is i'm just saying i'm doing this to show the test you know how i would like things to be so i'm going to show you the first version of what i did which is this so um and we're going to compare i want to walk you through what i did here um, so let's start from, let's say the top here, this part. So what I did in my own, uh, was, okay. The first thing I did was change the color scheme completely. So I made it a bit darker. And, uh, like I said, I have two versions. I'm going to show you the lighter version, the version that is similar to this color scheme. But the first thing I did was change the color scheme. And then here I made this icon dimmer because, um, I just feel that everything shouldn't be, you know, you know, so bright on your face, you know, I just feel like something should just go to be, to be dimmer. Okay. That's just what I feel. And then when you hover on it, it brighten up. And another thing I did was I changed the hover, you know, when you hover on something, I believe that it should highlight and not be darker. A lot of times when I'm walking, I want to save. And then when I go here, it turns dark. Sometimes I get confused. Like, am I on the right, you know, am I on the right a button or so and I think that it should actually highlight that's why I changed this and these other ones also highlight instead of uh, going dark then uh, the second thing I did here or let me not say second let's say the next thing I did was just to uh, just to increase this now this is not important to increase it you know I just feel like giving it this sort of font so that when you go through like this you see history settings style sheet and all you know selectors that just gives it a nice feel, you know, for it to be the font type and all that. And I'm going to quickly mention that I went ahead to change the font type. So um, the font type that I'm using for the whole interface, I've changed it from the default to inters. And I feel that it just looks better in my opinion. So the next thing I did was to change this uh, text styling, made them um, capitalized, um, uppercase, and then just give them a, just make, made them dimmer a, a bit, you know. Um, so this controls the expand all the collapse also. I just feel like it's it just feels neater than the way it is here, you know, and uh, and then I reduce the size of the icon there, you know, just to make everything feel just cleaner, in my opinion. And so what, let's walk away down here. I changed this. I really didn't like this, the icon here. So I changed it to something like this. And all these are done in the CSS. And then for the open and collapse and expand icons, I changed mine to something like that. So when you collapse it, you know, so I just wanted something sleeker, something, um, this for me did not have much style. Actually, uh, I actually like the one that is available in recorder workspace, the arrows, um, but I couldn't place, I couldn't get my hands on a nice arrow that I would prefer. So 
I had to use this slimmer ones and I think I like the way they look. And then the next thing I did was uh, to make sure all these are stretched to the end, like they align all of them to the end here. So you can see all of these uh, structure, uh, you know, elements on the, on the structure tree, they all align to the end here, unlike what it is here. Now, uh, and then of course you can see the hover styles, uh, the slight, you know, a transition and translate X and uh, highlighting and then for the for the border i took away the background and i i made it just have the left and the bottom border just wanted it to look a bit sleeker and um that's basically all that i did here and then moving over to this side uh one in thing that i did here was um, i also made this you know the highlight okay all these are highlights and this is a, a green and then one important thing now, if I go to this breakpoint and then let's say I make a change, let me just do something here. Okay. Now you notice that if I go here and also make a change, whatever. Now, uh, if you point here, you're going to see that less than, you know, and you're also going to see the close icon. So I, I, I wanted to show you both of them at the same, of course, these are uh, tool tips show in all of them but i want to also show you the x the cl the clear icon okay now uh here now let's go back there now if you hover on this i want to come down here to click something you see it gets in the way so you cannot immediately come down so you have to like go out like this and it so i didn't think it was a really good user experience uh what i did in mine was that i took this thing i reduced it made it just feel cleaner i didn't think the text needed to be this big, you know, um, because over time people just get to know this thing. So I just felt that even here, I just felt that there's no need for them to be that obtrusive. And so I made that. So it is easy. Once you come out of it, it just goes away because it stacks very close to the icons, you know, and then for this, you know, you can see that this looks much neater. The X is properly aligned to the center here. And I made this a circle. The reason I made that a circle is I just noticed that if you add a state and then you did um, an edit, uh, you know, it's a circle, you know. So I felt that it should just be consistent apart from aligning it properly. So like you can see here, this is not, um, it wasn't properly aligned. Now, okay, let me just remove that. Okay, so now one thing you may have noticed is the colors here. Now, um, you know, oxygen, if you style um, an element with the ID, it's going to show you this um, gr blue, okay, here. And then the green means it's styled with the class. So I took that a notch higher. So uh, to show that when you style an element, even the labels of that uh, property should change. Now, even though I've not applied any style here, because these styles are intrinsically uh, or by default style by class is showing is labeling it green. Now, if I select this, uh, this is selected. If I go ahead to apply a style from the ID, you can see that it changes to blue. So from the label, you would immediately know that um, this, whether this is styled by a class. Now, if I select a class and then I click here, you can see now it changes the color to orange. Now when it changes orange, it shows that that property is being styled by both the class and the ID for these grid controls. Um, it is not really perfect. Okay. It's not really perfect the way I wanted it to be. Uh, but for the other ones, now let's, let's move into here. Now I have this, let me select this. Let me go here. And then I want to style this margin, see, say 20, see it shows blue. Now I'm going to remove it, but I want to go to the class. You see it shows green. Now if I go back to this and write 20, you see it changes to orange. So that immediately helps me to understand that, look, uh, this property, you have styles on it, both on the class and on the ID. This is a very, um, can be very polarizing, you know, uh, decision. Uh, some people might not like it. This is, like I said, this is, um, this part, you know, needs some work and I have not been able to figure out how to make sure that if I don't apply anything, it doesn't highlight for the flex. Now, another thing is for the flex, 
you can see that I've gone ahead to remove the labels here. Now this is just for me, I just prefer, I mean, it's visual. I can see the alignment It's already written here, horizontal item alignment, vertical item alignment. I don't want to see bottom, middle. Uh, it just feels cleaner, but this might be good. Generally, this is probably the better user experience, but I was tilting towards the UI, you know, more than the UX. Okay. For me personally. So I just had to remove those labels from here. And then here also I added some nice um, effects here. I mean, these are just optional stuff. I just like, you know, the way it looks when I'm working. I like the interface to feel um, interesting. You know, it's psychological. It could make you not to be tired faster. Uh, you know, when you enjoy the way things behave in the builder, it just makes you enjoy walking. So that is, that is my take. So I think those are basically the changes that I made. And like I said, the font sizes, uh, I changed the font sizes, uh, the like horizontal item, all of them are capital, uh, for, you know, just mostly the fonts, you know, and the way they look, you see all this, uh, you can see all this, uh, capital, you know, and then, uh, these are normal uh, title case uh, so i prefer it to be capital like that so each section is really uh, clearly defined you know so so that's it that's uh, all so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and just activate the now this is the the code snippet i'm using script organizer you can use um you know code snippet plugin to just or any code manager is the php you know and never um, put it on everywhere uh, I'm going to disable this and then enable the second one. And then I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to just refresh and show you what the second one looks like. It kind of shares the same color with this, but different, you know, not exactly the same, just different. It, it retains all the customization I did for the other one, but it's just, um, just a different color scheme. So you can see that this is brighter, you know, and kind of like I, you know, I got this color scheme from um, Photoshop and I just feel like, okay, let me use it. And it's for maybe people that don't really want a very dark um, color scheme, you know, can use this. I'm going to share both co code snippet in the description. I'm going to link it and uh, you can take it and then tweak it whatever, where, however you want. Now uh, you could, everything is properly, um, you know, labeled you know comment the comments are there in this in the css so you could just play with it and see what you can come up with something different and let us know you know let me know in the comment section if you've done something different if you want to share your code or you could comment in the facebook group i'm gonna put this video you know in the facebook group so you could let us you know comment there and let us know if you've done something with it something cool all right so that's all for this video uh until next time I'm looking forward to another oxygen video very soon. Uh, it's going to be an interesting one. So uh, hit the notification bell so you don't miss the video and hit the like button if you like this. And I'll see you some other time. Have a great day. Bye.